Welcome, Internet, to the last episode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Praise be to God, I'm Colorful Artie, and today we're taking on the last story. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone's coming. You. You haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. Now this time Eggman's dead grandpa hijacked every TV in existence. Okay. That doesn't make sense. I plan to give you a taste of my revenge once all the seven Chaos Emeralds are collected. Once I initiate this program, it cannot be disabled. All of you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss and despair. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Ready! What's going on here? Who is that? I plan to give you a taste hey, of my revenge. The vibration's getting What's worse. Honest? Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous <laughs> than you could ever be. <laughs> Snap. This is my grandfather's diary. I read it without his permission. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep the prototype, keep the prototype from falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way. I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect. Pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, 
Release and awaken it If you to the wish world. to fill the world with destruction... Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Earth Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather pretty. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony composition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use Whoa, this, the Master Emerald got a lot smaller. To stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Why is Eggman helping? He was like, I wanted this to happen. No worries. Just leave it to me. I'm the world's fastest hedgehog. Then, let's get to work. <laughs> that was a weird way to say it. Let's get to work. All right, Cannon's core gets to the core of the colony. It's the last stage. And we get to play as every character except Shadow. Because Shadow's just like, yeah, my life's dead. <laughs> also, apparently this means uh, Eggman and Maria are either siblings or cousins. And that little switch I hit just stops time. Hi! Alright, I should at least kind of try to get an A rank on this level. This level's such a pain to A rank because it's the longest level in the game by far. And, of course, very tough. So yeah, we can hit the... Uh, we can hit the switch, and then it'll deactivate all the lasers. Okay, good. Sometimes that can go wrong. Oh no! My combo! My glorious combo! Artificial Chaos isn't too bad for Tails. He can just walk up to it and punch it with his B-move. Whew, that's cool. Oh, wait. Oops. Yeah, we need for the weight to fall. Yeah, there we go. Now we hit the switch. Use the working cannon on that. Destroy the guys through here. Same old, same old. Cool. That's Tails' portion of the level over. Now it's Eggman's turn. Eggman's the best. Well, he's better than Tails, at least. If, no, if for no other reason, then he has a little bit more HP. I think he controls slightly better, though. Eggman's like, oh, I'm so extreme! Because of my combos, you see. Stupid artificial chaos. Yosh! Oh, sweet. I killed Chaos like that. This room's a bit nasty. Especially if you're trying to get the 100 ring mission.
Oh no! It's so weird how like it accelerates you upward or it accelerates you downwards if you touch a wall. Alright, Eggman. My main goal is just don't die. I feel like if you do decently at the Tails and Eggman parts and you don't die, then you're kinda good. Uh, no chow box for me. Yeah, you can try to get a combo off these guys. They tend to be more trouble than they're worth, though. Okay, if you encounter two of these guys, it's really annoying. Because you can't really do the punch move on them. Ouch. Whoa. It didn't fall let me stay on the platform. Don't. No, no, no. No! Why? It wouldn't let me get back on. And it wouldn't let me go up there. Well, no way rank for me today. That's okay. This is, in my opinion, the hardest level to A rank, just because it's like a 10 minute level. Just die! Cry out loud. Cool. Eggman's portion's done. Well, I got 11,000 points. Not too bad. How did I get 11,000 points? So now it's Rouge's time to shine. And no, you can't fly at the very beginning when you're dropping down. Otherwise, this part would be a lot faster. It's pretty fast anyways. Cool. Got for just in time. Of course, the sheriff of Nottingham would say, Looks like I got here just in time. Okay, cool. Hit the switch when it's like right at the door, and you can make it through here. Hopefully, kill these dumb butts. Kill him. I will try. So we must be in a reactor of some kind. Wow. Oh, that was magic. Oh, that's right. We need to hit the switch in order to go out the door. Dog on it. All right. There we go. Jump on that, please. Thank you. And now Rouge can fly upwards to just to get out. That's cool. And this is where it really, 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 really helps to have the air necklace. Because we're swimming through nuclear waste. Oh, what? That doesn't make the lasers go away? <laughs> and yet there's still the liquid on the ceiling and stuff here. Ouch. I don't think that's good enough. Nope. 
Darn it. It's over. <laughs> I tried to land on my rain. Whoosh. Okay. Do I have to go the same way Rouge went? I feel like that would be beating a dead horse, but I can't really think of any other way. Darn it, hitting that switch is so freaking hard. I guess I should rephrase that. Hitting that switch at the proper time you need to is very hard. Come on. Get back there. Nope. There we go. There's not a lot of leeway there. And this might not even be the right way anyways. Well, can you imagine how hard this would be without the ear necklace? We'd be trying- we'd be drowning, like, in 20 seconds. There are air bubbles for you, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I thought it would be you hit the switch, and then the laser gate goes down. Because that's what it's... ...happened for everything else. But nope. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Where, oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh my gosh. I know what I gotta do. See, those lasers go away. Why don't the lasers underwater go away? At least put something besides lasers underwater to do that. Knuckles, light speed, Dandor. Oh, nope, got a stop time. I know there's a time switch in here somewhere. Probably on the ceiling? Yep. I don't know how these time switches are working. I wonder, would lasers still work underwater the same way they do in the air? Someone who is much smarter than me at physics could please tell me. Would lasers still work that way underwater in this kind of liquid? Did I just go backwards? No, I did not. Cool. Thank goodness the Ark is taking so long to fall to Earth. Now it's the Sonic section! Yeah! You remember those guys. Wait, what?! What was the point of putting that enemy there, then? Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very, uh, well, first in this course. I don't remember a lot about this. Oh, that's jerkish. You 
we've got to homie attack him and then homie attack back just to open that door. Alright, it's gonna push us backwards. So, oh, I see what we need to do. Boing, boing. Ow. Oh, there are lasers there. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it didn't really matter I died in the Eggman or Knuckles sections. The Sonic sections give me a lot of trouble. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud! That, can be that guy is hard to hit. Oh, darn you. Almost impossible to see laser gate. Alright! Ceiling rail! Wait, what? Uh, that looked like it was the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> okay, this 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 all does not do a very good job of like being like, hey, go this way. It's more like, yeah, go this way. Oh, that was a cliff. Did you seriously think you were supposed to go that way? It's, well, yeah. Every sign pointed to me going that way. Like every sign points to you having to go down. The only thing that could make it like more obvious to go down would be to put in signs that say go down. Give me my ring, please. Alright, let's try this again. Ceiling rail! Okay, this is the way that we're supposed to go. Yeah! Why does this look like ancient ruins from Adventure 1? This is a space colony. We're looking for Death Star stuff. Yes. Well, that was the end of the incredibly long and crazy level. And even though we got a decent score, that's gonna be an E. Barely made it. Yeah. Oh well, we get 33 medals now. Emblems, not medals. I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. You know, the guy tried to like kill you earlier. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things, some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please, do it for me. Maria, 
She doesn't even move her lips. Shadow, the I promised her. I must keep that promise. <laughs> nice one tier. I have to keep my promise to Maria. See, here's the thing. Sonic Adventure 2 could have actually had, like, a decent plot, but the, the acting is not great. I'm sorry. And the script still needs work, too. Like, the overall premise and story is, like, actually decent. But... What's that? <laughs> it looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. <laughs> well, that's weird. They probably designed the core like a shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emerald. Oh, so that's why it looks like ancient ruins. Grateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss and despair. You, you grateful human, human took everything away from me. Will feel my loss and despair. Could this be the prototype of the ultimate life form? Supposed to be encapsulated? Look at this one to me. Shadow, what are you doing? I'll take care of this while you run to get the Chaos Emerald. So this kind of comes out of left field, but it's okay. This is a pretty cool fight. We're fighting. The Bio Wizard. Shadow versus Shadow Beta, basically. Even though they look nothing alike. So basically, he's gonna be uh, try to one jet us for a bit. We just have to wait for him to stop. Yep, like that. We can grind on his rail up to the top and hit this. That's his life support system. Don't get too far ahead of his head, because otherwise his tail's going to start chasing you. Also, it's kind of hard to tell when you're about to land in the acid stuff. That's one thing that could definitely be fixed. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, now he spits dark balls at us. The little ones we can just jump over, but occasionally, yeah, he'll shoot big ones you got a somersault under. And they come very close together, so it's going to be a little tricky to get past. Ooh, now he's coming at us from the other side, clockwise. Oh, that's that's why you don't go too far ahead. Ow! What the? Curse is Peter Pan. Where are my rings? I need rings. There are no rings around. I guess all the rings are on one side of the level. Okay. Yeah, that's the weird thing. It's like, oh yeah, it's, it's the prototype of the ultimate life form. Shadow's the actual ultimate life form. Like, okay, A, the ultimate life form is a hedgehog. I don't think so. B, why does its prototype look like a giant lizard? Makes no sense. Oh yeah, fast way up. Where? So this is going to be a long episode, thanks to the long level, and there's another boss fight after this one, but admittedly the next boss fight is AMAZING! And since it's the final boss, it should be. Okay. Yeah, the problem is he shoots them so close together. I don't know how I dodged that! Okay, cool. He's feeding his life the support system. Boom! Nice dramatic drop shadow. I forgot that the liquid doesn't actually damage you. It just slows you down a bit. I guess it makes sense since it doesn't damage you in the cannon's core stage. Is 
It's the low down ones that are, that are annoying, because the high up ones you can somersault under very quickly. But the low down ones, you have to jump, and Shadow doesn't jump all that quickly. And they've got huge hitboxes. Oh, uh, that was my bad. Okay, cool. Halfway gone. What are Sonic and Knuckles doing in the background? I mean, it's like he's... The Bio-Wizard is in the middle of the shrine. It's not like they can really reach the shrine. More of this. I kind of like only having one rain. It makes it very easy to pick back up after you lose it. Unless that happens. Ouch. Ow! It looked like I just jumped over it. Oh no. No, no, no. Not when I don't have a rain. Not when I don't have a rain. Alright. What you're supposed to do is homing attack your way up to the top. Like that. But it's very risky to do if you don't have any rains. As you saw, one of them just happened to hit me on my way up. And this is why I try to only have one rain at a time, so that way I can just pick up another rain pretty easily. Whereas if you collect them all, guess what? You're kind of out of luck. Yeah, the problem is, like, those low ground ones really do have a big hitbox. But they also, like, they come out so fast. You have to jump, like, low, but not too low, because otherwise they're going to hit you. It's kind of a catch-22. Okay, this again. Cool. Uh, what? Nope. No, stop it. I need my rings. What the heck? Cool. Pick up a rain. Pick up a rain. I need a rain. I need a rain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, because then this part. Guess what? It's zero gravity, so it's like, oh, hope you get lucky and avoid these. Oh, that part is so unfair. You just have to pray you get through. All right, time for zero gravity homing attack. There's just zero gravity time. I suppose I could wait for him to launch some of them. Actually, yeah. Nope. What was that? I didn't hit anything. Yay! That last move is still incredibly cheap, but I still did it anyways. Get out, you ugly prototype. Well, I will admit, Shadow, he definitely is ugly. That, wow, could you guys, like, go slower up those stairs? Seriously. You guys are fast. That Master Emerald is still tiny. It gets smaller in every appearance. Are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the Chaos Emeralds! And this is why we have to have a Master Emerald to look out the for the little Chaos Emeralds. Because otherwise, dumb stuff like this happens. I feel kind of bad for it. It's got, look, look it at all it's those pipes it's got is hooked up to. Chaos control is? Since we've stopped the Chaos Emeralds, why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Never mind, don't feel bad for it anymore. Sonic. No, 
Knuckles is like, what is about to happen? Why did we have like five seconds of zooming in on Knuckles' face? Oh yeah, this part. <laughs> it looks like they're shaking die before they roll to go first in Monopoly. <laughs> and of course, everyone knows you have to glare before you use the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Super Sonic and Super Shadow. How come it's not Super Knuckles? He was there, too. Alright, time for the final boss, and it is an epic final boss. With an awesome song in the background. It's the final hazard. Prototype of the ultimate life form. Can you hear me, son? Shadow? So now we're Super Sonic and Super Shadow. Basically, we have to hit its giant tumors. And as you can see, we have 50 rings. We have to push A to go up, B to go down. Yeah, there we go. Destroyed the first one. We're constantly draining on rings, but it's okay because this is still an amazing fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can hardly squander. <laughs> this song is so cheesy, but also just so amazing for this fight. I love it. Yeah, just push A to go up and B to go down. Wait, what? Yeah, no, duh, Knuckles! <laughs> Knuckles, like, Sonic, did you know that we're in danger? Yeah, Knuckles, that's been the whole point of Final Story. <laughs> oh no, now he's got two lasers. What will we do? Hey, this guy should be thanking us. We're destroying its, like, grossly bloated tumors. I just ran out. <laughs> He's actually saying this to Shadow. That's hilarious. It's not even like for the person playing. He's like, Shadow, make sure you boost your rain energy. <laughs> okay, these are actually tricky to get past. Especially since apparently if we get hit, it gets pushes us right back where we came. Troubles my middle name. Live and learn. Live and learn. Oh, stop that. You're gonna die anyways, dude. What the heck? Nothing hit me. Yeah, that's because he's being cheap with the lasers. <laughs> Oh, whoa, his, his tumor vocation moved. Ow! Stop it! How is it he knocks... What the heck? Okay, I have literally never in all my years playing this ever had that happen to me. What the heck was that? He was actually being semi-intelligent. Yeah, I was trying, but every time I got close, he barely touched me with something, or flat out didn't touch me with something, and it pushed me all the way back. Are you? Can you keep that promise, Shadow? Can you? Because last time you didn't. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why the prototype is like I must destroy Earth. Okay, I slammed into that. Everybody in YouTube land can vouch for me that I just slammed into that. <laughs> Thank you. Knuckles, shut up! We're trying to do this final boss battle! Actually, that's probably what everybody's saying to me right now. Does the word siesta mean anything? Ah! 
Let's go. You got touched by a laser. Bam! Go back 10 miles. What the heck was that? It's not letting me go up. I am pushing the A button, and it would not let me go up. Huh! Shadow, stop sucking and just do your job. There we go. Wait, what? Okay, thank you. I'm like, <laughs> I definitely slammed into that. No, it's just Sega glitchiness. It's fine, everybody. We're trying! <laughs> For some reason, the Bile Wizard's been much nicer to Sonic than to Shadow. Like on Sonic's side, it's like, oh yeah, I guess the lasers are here. Whereas on Shadow's side, it's like, oh, the lasers will follow your every move and you cannot possibly dodge them. Okay, now they're being a pain. Goofa? Stop it! What the? What the farmer in the Dell is going on here? A? What is going on? I, Whenever I get hit, I literally can't move for like 10 seconds, and then I get hit again, and again, and again. I, you can't manually change places with Shadow, though. Otherwise, I would, but no. It's just you can do a hit, Shadow moves, and then Sonic moves after you, he deals a hit. Okay, yeah. First three hits are super easy. And then when he gets the second laser, they start, like, homing in on you, and you really can't dodge them. And it's not very fun. Yeah, like, nowhere... No matter where I went there, I couldn't possibly have dodged that. Yeah, like, and there! Short of... Short of being able to read its mind and knowing where it's gonna fire those lasers, you can't dodge them. Well, that... Whoa! That knocked me way farther away than it had any right to! Still not terrible. Cool. It's always bad when, like, an epic final boss is just frustrating because of how bad its design is. I don't remember its design being bad. I remember it being really fun, but no. Ah! That's not fair at all. Uh, what? Thank- there we go. Man, this- this boss is just determined to stretch my video out as long as possible. New plan, let's hang around here. Oh, that was a bad plan. Aww. Turn off your freaking lasers. You've been using them for long enough. I'm trying, but I freaking can't get close! was way too difficult. It has been a long time since I've been this frustrated over a boss. Like, 
Last boss that made me this frustrated was the Mighty Number no. 9 final boss. Ugh. Again, that could have been a really good final boss, but it wasn't. That is a pretty cool ending, I must admit. Maria, this is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Great graphic humans. I'm amused by how dated the human models are. Redone animation. Do you really think that the professor created him? Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry, but Rouge's, Rouge's delivery of her line was so bad. To my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a Great scientist like him. What? Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is we all did it together. Wow, am I playing putt putt now? <laughs> and we all did it together. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. Create the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Dude, the planet is cool and blue as me. Oh, Sonic. Oh, no, please. <laughs> and then it just reminds us it's a Sonic game with cheesy lines like that. Except it's really not goodbye to Shadow the Hedgehog because they brought him back in Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog, so. I mean, like. All right, that's Adventure 2 Battle. That, that's a shame, because I really do remember that final boss being awesome, fun, and epic. And it turns out to just be glitchy, frustrating, and terrible. The song, the song is still great, but... Man. So many deaths against that guy. Like, I, I probably not, I don't know how much, much of that I'm going to show. I'm definitely cutting out at least half of it, though. Oh, man. I fought him probably at least 20 times. So, ugh. I, I don't know how I beat him so easily as a kid. Either a copy of the game got glitched somehow, or I'm remembering wrong, or I was just a beast as a kid. I don't know. Live and learn! 
Hanging on the edge of tomorrow, November. 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 ADX. Still a fun game, still has its problems. But holy cow, those last two fights were way more frustrating than I remember. I remember the Bio Wizard being kind of frustrating at the end, but not that bad. Oof. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. A new day brings new adventure. But for now, you have to play Sonic Adventure 2. Rest easy, heroes. Is that... <laughs> is that hinting at Sonic Heroes? Thanks, Shadow. All of that for an emblem. Was it worth it? Time Attack boss stages are now available. Ugh. Thank goodness I don't have to do those. But yeah, that Sonic Adventure 2 battle, that's the end of my Let's Play. If people really, really, really want me to go back and 100% this, or at least do a couple missions, let me know in the comments of this video. I do keep an eye on the comments. But honestly, I'm definitely taking a break from this. It won't be at least until 20, uh, 2018. Like, that's just how it's going to go. But anyways... That's it for this Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope the, uh, you, to see you for my next Let's Play in the future. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Anyways, have a great day. And God bless.